Hello guys, so uh, this is a test flight at uh, Heathrow Airport to uh, see my just to see how the uh, my new RTX uh, 2080 Ti behave with a P3D uh, version 4 Uh, so far, it's been quite disappointing. As you can see, the frame rate on the screen is terrible. And I was expecting that it will solve the uh, Heathrow uh, high density uh, problem. Set parking brakes. Parking brakes set. Yeah. So, but bear in mind that I'm doing this test with a lot of other things running uh, including XSplit recording all the various software all uh, running locally but still it's quite disappointing as you can see the frame rate is below 20 average I'm setting the frame rate to unlimited in uh, P3D version 4 So, I uh, just want to gear. see if after we take off, uh, will there be any improvement? Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. But one thing is that uh, we always always want to test the uh, GPU in a high density airport, like the Heathrow. I'm sure there is no problem with the uh, after takeoff. And on screen uh, to the top left corner, I put the uh, GPU Z. Uh, one thing that puzzled me is that uh, it, it doesn't boost even though uh, the frame is that low. The GPU didn't boost above the uh, base clock right is clear. frequency of 1350. I've tested with other software and it can actually boost to, uh, you know, 1950 MHz, but P3D, I do not know why, it just didn't uh, boost to the frequency that uh, it's supposed to be, but that's okay, we'll just uh, try to do some taxiing. Uh, go to taxi to runway 27 left. Okay, TC. Fast G to seven zero two. Start up approved. Roger, fast to seven zero two. Neutral ground, Fatsh 702, 8 gate 139 with information X-ray. Ready taxi with clearance. I'm also running the Vox ATC uh, at on. Fast GT702, taxi to holding point runway 27 Still, right. this is quite Via disappointing. Bravo. Taxi to holding point runway 27 right via Kilo and Bravo, Fatsh 702. So, taxi to Bravo to uh, 27 right. Yeah, I'm just hoping that maybe there's something I didn't set correctly. That's why the boost, boost clock for the uh, P3D V4 kind of not happening. So, yep, yeah. let's see how it goes. By the way, this is a Palit uh, RTX uh, 2080 Ti, which uh, I bought it because it's the cheapest. I'm not willing to, uh, you know, spend too much money on the just to find out whether it helps in P3D V4. And now it's happened that uh, it actually didn't help much, as you can see. 
I'm still hoping that something I said wrongly could be the uh, NVIDIA 3D program setting or what you can see it's below 15 below 20 for most of the time and I'm running slightly more than uh, in terms of the resolution I think this is about two times uh, it's uh, two times one nine two zero by one zero eight zero frame rate is really bad traffic uh, AI traffic is set at uh, about 15% uh, uh, AI traffic is controlled by Vox ATC of course Let's hope it uh, gets better. I'm not streaming this uh, because I want to record the uh, speed I mean the frame rate uh, without streaming but this is uh, almost like a this is a complete uh, streaming setup for me and it's very disappointing that the frame rate is as bad but again, this is Heathrow Airport, so this is supposed to be spec with the RTX 2080. And uh, let's just take off. Obviously, the ATC is not responding. Flight deck to cabin. Hi, Mark. How can I help you? Take off station. So one thing could be that because I'm using a very nice six zero X CPU, could that be the bottleneck? Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has advised that we are now clear for takeoff. Okay, let's roll. Take off power. Oh, I forgot to set flash. Because I'm too stunned by the frame rate of RTX 2080. 80 knots. Positive rate. Even at outside view, you can see that the boost clock that didn't happen. Pilot on. Okay, after takeoff, we can see the frame rate now going above 20 FPS. The boost clock is still not happening. Still stuck at call base clock of 1350 MHz. Flaps up. So, maybe something is wrong.
almost like P3D V4 didn't make use of the boost clock. Temperature is very low, 52, 53 degree. Fan speed is also low, GPU load is only 31%, 27%. It just doesn't boost boost the uh, frequency to the one nine five zero megahertz. So that could be the issue. Outside view is as per normal. Previously, I was using a Titan X, and this is almost like the Titan X. So quite disappointing for a first impression. Uh, I thought it would, could improve the P3D frame rate tremendously, but it didn't happen. So maybe there's something that. Uh, P3D or Lockheed can do about this? Not sure, man. Yep, so that should end the test now. Uh, got to see how we can solve this problem. Low frame rate for the RTX 2080 Ti. This is ridiculous. 